Hi guys, uh, we're in the storage cupboard today, I've got a day off work. I thought uh, I'd go in there, start sorting stuff out. I've got so much stuff, I'm going to have to actually, I'm starting to think, should I sell a lot off on eBay? Uh, my other half, she's not, to be honest, she's not, she's not too happy about it. She's getting a bit funny about this stuff now, you know, because it's like took over. It's expanding as the collection, do you know what I mean? So I found this at the bottom of the cupboard. I knew I had it, but I just couldn't bother getting out. I ain't got a box for it. The Iron Man Mark III helmet uh, from Stark Industries. This thing is brass. It wears a ton. As you can see, that's it going around there. I bought this quite cheap a few years ago. It's solid. Look at that, guys. Uh, so there you go. As you can see. I mean, this thing is it's, it's pure brass. Oh, you know, it weighs a ton. You, you can actually wear it, guys, but it's just too heavy. As you, uh, The side of it, the detail is just immense. Uh, I love the paint job on this. Just so smooth here. You get like a bit of a neck thing here. It goes up and down. Uh, we'll go look at the front. It would have been good if the eyes lit up, but this is from Museum Replicas. As you can tell, it's just a thing of sheer beauty. But the weight of it, guys, it just weighs so much. Right, I'm going to try and put it on now. Right. Right, putting it on. The thing is, guys, wearing this really hurts your head. And because with it being solid metal, you couldn't wear this. I mean, it's a display piece. It, it you know, it's just so rock out that I, I, I'm putting it on, I can, it does hurt, so I'm going to pull it off, ow, it, I, I, so I'm never going to, oh god, that hurt did that, but inside as you can see, it can be one, it's got the leather inside, uh, I mean the detailing is really good, it does need a bit of a clean up, I've had it in the cupboard for three or four years just out of the way, uh, there is a few marks on it, which is a shame, but I will clean this up, get some brasso on it, get it all shiny, back to what it was, uh, I'm actually going to put this out on display, you do get a stand with this, which is sort of pretty cool, uh, hang on, right, so this is the stand, uh, underneath you've got the Marvel thing logo. What does it, does it say anything? Yeah, I don't know what number this is. Uh, they only made 1500 of these. Uh, but I don't know what the number is because I ain't got the box off certificate. Uh, as you can see, there we go. Right, let's go to there. Iron Man. You know, Stark Industries, like all that. I've really missed this, you know, but honestly, if you ever buy one, pick one of these up, they are very hard to find. I saw one on eBay today in America, and they wanted a thousand quid for it, I thought, are you joking? But it was signed by Stan Lee, he did have the back of it signed by him, but if he's asking a grant, just over a grant, I think it was £1,200, so this must be worth quite a bit, but it's not boxed. Would I sell this, guys? I don't know. I really don't know. I think I bought this when Iron Man 1 come out. I went through a bit of an Iron Man phase. I have a lot of Iron Man stuff, which I will do a review on at some point. But uh, that's it really. I'll put it back on its stand, like that. It is, oh God, it's, it's really hurt my head. But there you go. Uh, I can barely lift it with one arm. It's that heavy. Uh, right guys, uh, that's it. That's my review of the Iron Man helmet. I'll see you on the next video. Please share and subscribe, guys. It's great to hear from you. Speak soon.